Making homemade wine. Adding ingredients to crushed grapes. You'll want to start with 30 pounds of crushed grapes in each bucket. This includes the skins, juice, and seeds. Next, add six quarts of water to each bucket of grapes. If you can use non-chlorinated water, that would be preferred. Now you're going to mix one quart of water with 12 cups of sugar. Heat the solution on the stovetop, stirring it constantly so it doesn't burn. To completely dissolve the sugar, you'll want to bring it to a boil. When this is done, pour the sugar solution into your bucket of crushed grapes and then repeat this process for each one of your buckets of grapes. Thoroughly mix your solution before you measure for specific gravity. It gets a little technical here. On the blog and website, I have detailed instructions on how to do this. The hydrometer is used to measure specific gravity and will let you know how much alcohol content you'll have when your wine is done fermenting. Next, you'll want to add 1 4 teaspoon of potassium metabisulfate. This helps kill yeast or unwanted things that might be growing in your wine. Then, you'll add 5 teaspoons of yeast nutrient. This helps support the yeast as the wine is fermenting. Now you'll add one tablespoon of pectic enzyme. This helps to break down the fruit and helps to keep your wine from turning jammy. Now thoroughly mix all of these things into your wine solution. Next fill your airlocks with water. The airlock is used to let air out of your bucket while your wine is fermenting but doesn't let air get back into your bucket. It helps protect your wine from being exposed to the air. Tighten the lid down on your bucket. After 24 hours, mix your wine yeast precisely according to the directions on the yeast packet. When your yeast has activated, add it to your solution and thoroughly mix your wine before it starts fermenting. Now try to maintain the temperature in the bucket between 75 to 90 degrees. Any colder or hotter, and the yeast won't work right. Put the lids on the bucket and let your wine ferment. For more videos and information on making homemade wine, please visit providentlivingtoday.com or peaceandparadise.blogspot.com.